Hey there. Uh, need to make this puller for the sleeves, to pull them wet sleeves out of that 51 Farmall Super A, 113 cubic inch motor. Uh, just using some angle iron I bought for something else. I need about eight inches off of this thing to start with. And the idea is here, I'm just gonna cut off eight inches and make the center hole about four inches in, right there is our mark, and then drill the holes. And basically, the hole here is going to be a piece of all thread. It's going to go all the way down through the sleeve. I'll cut a plate at the bottom to hold where that goes through, and then you just twist it off with nuts to hold it up. And it's not a whole lot of pressure. It's not like you're pulling a drive sleeve. Wet sleeves, the only thing really holding it in is that O-ring. So it should pop right out. When I first looked at these things, I was like, man, I need a sleep puller for this thing. I looked at sleep pullers. I was like, you know, there ain't no way I'm pay paying $682 for a sleep puller that I'm going to use very rarely. Or I just need one. And... And wet sleeves, like I said, the only thing really holding them in is that O-ring, so it won't, it won't take a whole lot of pressure. Add this, and add a one-inch piece of all thread that uh, I had bought for something else that I could cannibalize. Need about a foot and a half, maybe, on that. So, just going to cut it. Go from there. I'll, I'll do more later once I get this cut and start drilling it. Working outside again. I went to a uh, farmer's day this morning in Coates. And it was originally supposed to be the 9th and 10th of October. And it got rained out, so they switched it to this weekend. And after being canceled last year, they only had, uh, didn't have nearly the vendors that they usually have. The, uh, not many tractors, a few here and there. If I'd have known that, I could have taken my tractor down there this morning, early this morning, hung out. It's a little windy. It's not bad out. It's probably probably still in the 50s is what it feels like about now. It's starting to warm up. But Farmer's Day is usually pretty cool. We're getting ready to start the parade down there. The car show was pretty decent. I didn't get any footage of it. I, I think my SD card was filled up, and I forgot to... I tried filming some stuff and it wouldn't take, so I just screw up on my part. So maybe next year, this was the 107th continuous year of running it, except for last year. So this, this would have been the 107th since they canceled it last year, but maybe we'll go next year. Car show was looking pretty good down there. It had a full, full parking lot of nice old cars. Didn't get any footage of it, but we'll see. Let me go cut this thing so I can get started on it. I'm going to pull the sleeves out of this thing tomorrow when we go over there. I need to have this ready. It's our homemade seal puller. It's uh, just some piece of angle iron. I made it about 8 inches long. And the bottom piece that goes at the bottom of the sleeve is just uh, left over piece of, uh, I think, uh, two-inch stock I had laying around. The angle iron, I can't remember what size it is, and I'm not measuring it. I think it's a two-inch or inch and a half, maybe. Should be plenty strong enough to pop that sleeve out. And a piece of all-thread. I used to add one-inch all-thread laying around, so I just used it. I'm not sure how much metal costs now. I know it's probably high dollars, but if you got some spare pieces laying around, uh, just use it. I priced the uh, sleeve pullers before I started this job, and there ain't no way I was paying that much money for something I was going to use once. I told the guy doing it, I said, if you want to buy it, you can buy it, and then if I ever need it, I can borrow it from you. He said, nah, that's okay. Just do whatever you got to do. So, 
but I'll test it tomorrow and see if it actually works. Should be plenty strong enough. You, you ain't got a whole lot of force to get the sleeve out of there. It's a wet sleeve that should drop in there, really. The only thing holding them in is a little bit of corrosion on the sleeve itself and the O-ring. So it really shouldn't take a whole lot to get them out. It's not like I'm trying to pull a dry sleeve out. And then you would probably need the $500 puller or you just upgrade this thing, make it a little stronger. And then all I'm going to do is set this angle on some uh, piece of a uh, couple of spacers. I've only got to move the sleeve about an inch and a half before it clears the O-ring. And then if I have to go further than that, I'll have to trim. I have to trim this down to where it's actually perfect with the sleeve. But I don't think I'm going to have to move it all that much because the lip for the sleeve sticks down pretty far past the block there. So once I get it up out of there, and then it, uh, once I get it most of the way out, if it's if it ain't enough, I'll have to trim that and. Probably put a piece or use that in a longer piece of all thread in there. I didn't have a one inch drill bit here, and I was sure as hell wasn't going to buy one. I just used what I had. I think I got it out to three quarters of an inch and then cut it the rest of the way out with a die grinder. Holes aren't perfect, but if it works, it works. Find out tomorrow. Now it'll be tomorrow's video, pulling them sleeves out of there and cleaning O-ring grooves out. O-ring grooves have to be perfectly clean. Any corrosion at all, get it out of there. I'll probably use a wire wheel on the Dremel to get down in there and clean them things out. But that's, that's a video for another day, like tomorrow maybe. That was the plan. I think I was supposed to go over here today and work on it, but I wanted to go check out the car show at Farmer's Day and hang out, see some people I haven't seen for a while. And I saw quite a few that I haven't seen for a while. It's a small town, but I don't go to town very much. Everybody works, so we just don't see each other that, that often, maybe once a year, twice a year, if that. That, uh, one friend of mine, I didn't know, it. his wife died back in September and had no clue that she had passed away. I was talking today, he brought his tractor up there to the tractor show and I asked about his wife because I know she had been sick before. He's like, man, she died back in September. I had no idea. Sorry for him. That was, that was a good woman he had there. Nice nice lady, too. Sweet. Sweet girl. All right, well, that's enough about that. So, I'll be filming these tomorrow, trying to get these sleeves out. Sometime, look for that video. I don't know how much I'll get done tomorrow. If I can get the sleeves out and get the cylinders cleaned out, and maybe put the sleeves in tomorrow. I have to dry fit them and drop the sleeves down in there and see if uh, see how far up the lip sticks over the top of the block. Should be no more than like five thousandths I think is what they call for. Hopefully they're close to perfect and they're not below the deck. That, that kind of the head gasket kind of seals them up there. And if it's below the deck, it doesn't allow the proper crush on the fire ring. The fire ring's on the head gasket there. I'll go over that later. I'll probably do a video tonight later on about cleaning the, cleaning the cylinders and uh, fitting the piston rings and all that. We'll see. It's about nappy nap time for me. You get a little bit of age on, you got to start taking naps. I've been up since about 4 o'clock this morning. Went back to bed for a little bit and then had to get up again to get the boy off to work. Make sure we cook breakfast for everybody this morning. But uh, that's what happens. 
cooking and goofing off. This this is goofing off to me. Doing this stuff here. Sounds like work, but really it's just goofing off. If I was any kind of businessman, I'd have bought the tool and then charged charge for it at least a portion and kept it on the wall hanging up on the pegboard it's there when you need it but uh this will work for now we'll try it tomorrow and see it should should work fine all right thank you guys if you like my video like share subscribe all that jazz and I'll do probably two, I'll probably do that other video tonight on cleaning cylinders. Look for that. Hit that like, share, comment, notification bell, all that. Take care. Bye-bye.